Very first guest is a popular crafting expert who shares her ideas with people around the country, and we're lucky enough to be on that list. Dina Anderson joins us live on Zoom from Texas, ready to share some fun ideas just in time for Halloween, including how to make a boo basket. Adina, it is great to see you, and I need all the info I can get on this boo basket, please. Yes, oh my gosh, happy Halloween. <laughs> happy Halloween. So you've got all kinds of stuff set up there as usual. I see a little flower pot, I see some paint, I see all kinds of stuff. Are those peppers behind you back there? Are those uh, like... The pumpkins? <laughs> yeah. Those are cool. All right, so where are we going to start? So first, we want to figure out a way to get the candy to the kids, right? So we have, we did this at, during Super Bowl or whatever, during the big game, and you just take some cardstock, I painted it like a pumpkin, and then I put glow-in-the-dark oh. paint on here. Deco <laughs> art makes it glow-in-the-dark. And then you can do a balloon to a straw, but I'm just going to kind of show you. So you blow up the balloon. What and is then that string tied to, Adina? What are you doing? And glue that to there. <laughs> and then you just shoot it across. <laughs> There's so many engineering logistics to work out on this that I just thought, okay. Um, I love it. You did something like that, Mr. Bevins, last yeah, year. Yeah, last Halloween. Yeah. So uh, okay. on the front porch, I had a piece of white PVC pipe. I attached a, a little Halloween pumpkin bucket to the end because it. Was, it was right in the middle of the pandemic and I would shoot the candy bars down the pipe into the bucket and the kids were like 10 feet away and got the candy. <laughs> that is awesome. I love, love, love that idea. Yeah. I don't have the PVC <laughs> pipe anymore. But <laughs> what, did you do something with it? I don't know. It's gone. Oh, huh. It disappeared. Right. Well, we can, well, Dean has given us a good, um, an, an alternative thing. All right. So I love the, I yes. love the Halloween on a string. All right. So what's next? So then we also have our charcuterie board. So this is if you're going to have some friends over or maybe you just want to do it for yourself. And I put pretty much every kind of Halloween candy you can think of Oof. on this board, including the colored Oreos. <laughs> <laughs> Adina, Adina, I can feel my I can feel my heart rate going up like intensely. Is it all candy all the time on that charcuterie board? Pretty much. We have some pizzellis, which are kind of like a little cookie, and then of course we have our peeps. And if you have M and M's and things, you can put those in a little bowl. But just have fun with it. <laughs> That's my kind of charcuterie board. Yeah. But... Like, uh, is that even a real thing? To yes. Eat? No, no, no. I mean, oh, it, yeah. it can't be charcuterie if it's season. candy, can it? It's candy. Candy rootery. Candy tootery board. <laughs> Tootie fruity Tootie board. fruity board. Yeah. Okay. I love it. It yeah. looks great and really inventive. Um, sometimes I've seen the candy mixed in with some of the more savories, too. So if you don't go all candy all the time, maybe you could mix a couple savories in there. What are the M&Ms yeah, right in front of you for? With some cheeses Adina. and things like that. That would be really yummy. Yeah. What are those M&Ms right in front of you for? Those were in a candy shooter. No, no, the oh, there's the, a yeah, bag those there. For the, those go on our little shooter. Oh, okay. <laughs> or I can just eat them right now. Which is... Yeah. <laughs> we we fully subscribe to that. Okay, now whiskey and wine. What What is yeah, happening so this here? This is kind of a neat take on a whiskey cocktail. And it's very simple to make, but it's really yummy. So you're just going to, I'm going to do a little Michigan pour here. You just do about a four count of your Texas Ranger oh. whiskey, which is the Texas whiskey here. Okay. And it's a, it's a bourbon blended whiskey. It's a little sweeter, so I kind of like that. And then you want to use a red blend wine or your favorite wine. You want to okay. fill that about half I've full. Not ever whiskey seen this. and wine. Not ever I seen know. this time. Spodiote so was the good. word at one time. Do you know what that means? Huh? Do you know what spodiote means? No. That's whiskey and wine. Oh. <laughs> you mix them. <laughs> That's what it's called? Drinking wine. It's like an orange. Spodiote. There was a song. There was, hey, okay. Oh, we're learning all sorts Started. of things here. I know, exactly. So after you add that, you're just going to add your favorite cola in there. And you want to fill that almost to the top. And a really cool spooky thing you could do is add a little dry ice to it. I didn't do that today because um, a little tip on dry ice, if you're going to buy dry ice, you need to use it the day you get it because it literally evaporates and disappears. Wait a minute. Can you put ice, <laughs> dry ice in something and, and drink it? You just can't consume the dry yeah, ice. You can't consume, no. It's better to put it like in a punch bowl because you could create this in a punch bowl, like do a cup of whiskey, a cup of the wine, and then a cup of the cola. 
or even bigger and then put the dry ice and kind of scoop it out. And that would be really yummy. We've and then they it. have this gold luster, this edible you glitter. You can't drink something that dry ice has been in, can you? Yes. You can drink the the from the punch bowl. The dry ice melt. From the punch bowl, yes. The, again, with melt. the science, I don't know what happens to the dry ice. You don't drink the dry ice. No, okay. we don't drink that. <laughs> but then when you add the gold luster, you get a little spooky goldness to it. <laughs> you spooked me, that's for sure. Mr. Bevins's world has been rocked between the tutti frutti board and the spodioti. He's not sure which way to. Okay, I love it. I'm I'm gonna have to do some field testing of the the wine and whiskey yes. and see what happens definitely, there. Definitely, definitely. And then you were asking about our boo basket. So this is a cute little thing to do for your neighbors. Your you've been booed, and you just grab a basket. You head to the dollar store. You can get a laundry basket, or I always have baskets around the house left over from something or another. And I filled it with the best goodies like M and M's and little Debbie cakes and these little cute little walkable things. And I put a pumpkin in here and a pumpkin carving kit. And then you create a little sign that says, you've been booed, fill, enjoy, fill me up and pass me along. And so you just kind of each neighbor, so you give it to one neighbor and then that neighbor fills it up again and gives it to the next neighbor. And it goes around the neighborhood like wildfire. And it's a really fun thing, A, to get to know your neighbors better and B, just to have fun. <laughs> It is the sweetest thing. I've heard I heard about this for the first time like two weeks ago and had ambitions on doing it. Hadn't done it, but then got booed about two nights ago. And so being booed is giving somebody a basket of candy or Yeah, or a bag and there's <clears throat> there's some rules with it too, Adina. I guess we got something that you hang in the window that then says, We've been booed, so you don't yeah. get double booed, right? There's yeah, there's some logistics. Booed or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> But I, lo I love the idea of the passing of the basket and fi refilling that and just that sense of community. It just elevates this time right now so much. It really does. It really does. And I have some other fun Halloween crafts on my website, creativelifestyles.tv, like this neat little candy jar, jar that is just a clay pot and a little plastic bowl. And you add your candy, add a little Ooh. saucer to the top. It's really simple. This could be made in less than five minutes and cost under two or three dollars. And the kids would love that too. Adina, I cannot wait. As much as I love seeing you here, I can't wait till you're in person. I just want to hug on too. you and <laughs> celebrate with some more Odie Spody and Tutti Frutti. Yes, and Tutti Frutti. And I will bring you some Texas whiskey. <laughs> Thank you, Adina. Thank you. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween, Adina. Awesome talking with you as always. And uh, of course, we hope she has the best Halloween possible. Wine, cola, and whiskey. You and, saw it here. And dry ice. Mm-hmm. All right, there's much more in <laughs> store for you to enjoy when the show returns, including finding out this week's phrase for where that come from. Be on the other side of the break.